In this video, we're going to go over three different ways to rapidly document the review of systems. Remember that review of systems can also be mentioned in your HPI, but if it is not clear, the auditor may disallow it as an HPI uh, bullet point. Also remember that when billing or coding for an established patient visit, you have to have one review of systems point to bill a 99213 and 2 to 9 to bill a 99214. You have to have 10 or more bullet points on the review of systems to document a 99215. But remember that there is always the option of saying review of systems otherwise negative, and that counts as a complete review of systems. Of course, this assumes that you actually did a complete review of systems. We're going to show three quick ways that you can document this. First of all, in this blank review of systems, I could go ahead and click in this section, the patient denies, and then type or choose from a pick list some of the options. This is incredibly slow. So instead, there are some defaults that are set up in eClinical Works. In each section, in this case, the general and constitutional, notes that there are these various uh, review points that are listed. If you click in this section called Presence, as it corresponds to the review point you're looking for, if you click it once, it will say Denies. If you click it once and then twice, it will say Admits. If you click it a third time, it will go blank again, and it will just cycle through just like this. So in this manner, this can function somewhat like a pick list so that you can rapidly go down and check some of the ones that you are wanting to either indicate that they denied or admitted to having. I can click on other sections such as endocrine um, in this example and I'm going to put that they deny cold intolerance but they do admit that they're having some dizziness and some excessive sweating. Now notice when I close the review of systems it's going to update at least those two sections and you can see it here the things they deny and the things that they admit which is a fairly quick way to go through it although if you're going through a 10 point or more review of systems this can be a little bit tedious. I'm now going to clear it out. The second way that you can do this is sometimes the quickest which is simply the notes box down here. Remember you can free text or drag and dictate something in here so you could put something uh, the pertinent negative such as negative for chest pain, dyspnea, and nausea. In this case, I've now documented three bullet points. Assuming those were appropriate review of systems points, this would meet the coding guidelines for a 99214, at least with regards to the review of systems. If I were to write something like review of systems, otherwise negative, then this now meets criteria for a complete review of systems and could be used to document a 99215 office visit if that was actually appropriate for this visit. I'm going to clear this out now. And finally, remember that you can make a template in eClinical Works just as big or as small as you want. And you can make a template for a normal or a disease specific review of systems. I'm going to use the example of my allergy template here. This is a fairly complete note for your typical seasonal allergies, which you can then modify as needed. Since it's my favorite, I'm just going to hit the left arrow button, bring the entire template in. We can see up here some allergy symptoms, which I would normally go edit as appropriate for the patient. But in this case, notice there is this review of systems. I've already created it, and it's specific for what you would typically see with uh, the review of systems in a patient with uh, seasonal allergies. Now, let us suppose that this patient also had wheezing because they have some asthma, and their allergies are kicking off their asthma. So in this case, I'm actually going to click on respiratory. It brings me here. I can either go in and change this and delete the wheezing and add it here, or I'm just going to click click in the, here to the green arrow, erase it, and now I'm going to go down this list and find the ones I want. And similar to what we talked about last time, I'm going to click here for denies. Well, now I'm going to change it to they admit. As long as they're here, I'm going to put that they denied hemoptysis but that they do admit that they have a cough in this particular patient. Notice I now have what looks like a reasonable review of systems for allergies. If they had some eczema, I'd probably go change this right here as well. 
So those are three quick ways that you can document the review of systems. You might want to consider making a template that has a brief and a complete negative review of systems to help you along for those physicians at Granger. There are already a couple of templates saved. For example, one is called GMC Complete Review of Systems and Physical. Another one is called GMC Complete Review of Systems and Examination. Both of these have a partial and a complete review of systems. And you can take these and favorite them for yourself or you can modify them and resave them in exactly the manner that you would like.